Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. This is Lifestyle Critic, where we break down movies and TV shows into their core elements. And in this video, we are going to be reviewing Scooby-Doo, Curse of the Speed Demon, which is a sequel to the WrestleMania mystery movie, except this time, the fight is on the road. Now, it was going to feature Hulk Hogan as a big character, but due to his comments in the public arena, he was removed from this film. Now, similarly to WrestleMania, this film did drag at certain parts, but the actual mystery was surprisingly decent, which makes this film not too bad, as they really did try something new and very, very different and very unique as well, which I'm going to be breaking down for you in this video review. So from a storyline point of view, this time the entire Mystery Incorporated gang are happy to go and support a WWE event. Unlike WrestleMania Mystery, which was set in WWE City, Speed Demon sees the character supporting them in a road event in Curse of the Speed Demon, and this time it is called the Muscle Moto X Off Road Challenge. Scooby and Shaggy are supporting the event by working in a food truck which is both suitable and very, very funny. And the actual wrestlers are competing on the road where a mysterious character called Inferno suddenly appears and is causing absolute carnage and absolute chaos for all of the wrestlers on the road and is sabotaging the entire event. The Mystery Incorporated gang then need to work out what's really going on, who is behind the Inferno mask, and the big question about who is going to win the championship race. So from a cast and characters point of view, it's really great as all of the characters are individually pretty involved with the plot of this movie. So let's go through them one by one. So the Mystery Incorporated gang are obviously trying to solve the mystery about what's happening with the Inferno character. But like I said, all of them get involved in the plot as well. So Scooby and Shaggy reluctantly get involved in the actual race with the Underminer character. So similarly to WrestleMania mystery where they were dragged into the fight, this time they're dragged into the race which is actually really, really hilarious. Velma and Daphne have their friendship being really challenged by a new character who is called Stephanie. Now, it's not as big of a fight as they had in Moon Monster Madness, but it's still definitely there. We also see the Fred Jones character helping out with the repairs of some of the cars, which is actually pretty hilarious. For this character, we have the Underminer character, who's the person that Scooby and Shaggy end up racing with. We have the main villain, this time being the Inferno character, and he's actually a pretty brutal villain. He causes a lot of chaos and a lot of carnage and damage on the road, which leads to some of the characters actually losing their lives. So from a formidable foe point of view, this character is definitely up there. We have Triple H, who is a returning wrestler, and we also have Vincent McMahon also returning as the main host of the event. And this time he brings his daughter Stephanie into the proceedings as well. We also have a bit of a hoverboard host throughout the event as well. So from a casting character's point of view, this one is actually pretty decent. So from a visuals point of view, all of the car race sequences look really, really great in this film. Not necessarily what you signed up for when you wanted to watch a Scooby-Doo mystery movie, but you know, you can't deny the fact that all of the dynamic and crazy race sequences, especially the over-the-top crazy race tracks that all these characters go on, do actually look pretty dynamic. And like I mentioned earlier, there is a bit of a hoverboard host and you really want to go on that hoverboard as he is able to film everything and use his drones to kind of film everything and kind of get really close to the action. So definitely the type of reporter that definitely has the best travel equipment. And then we actually have some fight sequences happening on the road, which look absolutely brilliant, very different type of fight sequences than we saw in the WrestleMania mystery. So from a visuals point of view overall, this film actually is pretty awesome. So from a comparison point of view, I actually really like the surprise reveal that they had in this movie, very similarly to the WrestleMania mystery movie, which actually had a surprise reveal over there as well. So I definitely say those two are definitely on par, but I don't think it's as good as Scooby Natural, the crossover film, or Batman the Brave and the Bold crossover film, or the much better Scooby-Doo animated movies such as Frank and Creepy, Camp Scare, and Abracadabra D. So I definitely say it's on the same level as WrestleMania mystery, and as a result, is definitely in the middle for Scooby-Doo animated movies as well. So overall, it was really nice to kind of see something new and continued 
in Scooby-Doo WWE Curse of the Speed Demon. Now, it wasn't necessarily one of my favourite movies, but it was definitely watchable. And so for all of those reasons, I'm going to give it a solid 5 out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.